Hello world, I'm Esteban Carvajal, a senior product manager here at ZMAX. My background is in biomedical imaging, specifically with optical coherence tomography imaging systems. I started at ZMAX about five years ago as an optomechanical engineer and have been working on new products at ZMAX ever since. I'm excited to talk today about our newest tool, the Optic Studio STAR module, and how we're working to develop solutions for engineers to work more effectively and to meet design challenges. I want to start today to talk a little bit about the problems that we're trying to help our customers solve is to make important design decisions earlier in the process. The reason we want to do that is they're typically easier to implement and they cost significantly less. As opposed to when you're later on in the project, you need to make a design change. Those are going to be significantly more expensive and they're often more difficult to implement. And this is where time delays and manufacturing delays occur. So customers are facing challenges more and more, and they're frequently seeing these design specifications that call for smaller form factors and higher performance. So team members need to work together to simulate the performance of their system beyond just simple optical lenses floating in space. They actually need to more strategically consider how the optics are mounted, what materials are being used, and the operating conditions of the system, and, and more. In order to do this, expertise needs to be brought in from various specialties. Now, when team members work together, they often have their own software tools and conventions, and this creates the potential for miscommunication, uh, confusion, frustration, and worst of all, delays. So we focus on these workflow challenges with our tools to help team members of optical products work together more effectively. We have a suite of tools that work together and integrate with different CAD and finite element analysis design tools. And this culminates into a workflow that enables our customers to share information more quickly and clearly. They can simulate and iterate faster in order to catch critical issues earlier in the product design process and ultimately have more confidence in their designs. This cycle is depicted on the right and this is what we'll go through over the next couple of slides and then I'll focus a bit more on the Optic Studio STAR module. It starts with Optic Studio in sequential mode, where we'll get the initial optical design. We'll bring that over to a CAD platform where the mechanical engineer will work, and we'll use Optics Builder to help share that information. From CAD, we'll return to Optic Studio in non-sequential mode in order to calculate flux. Then we'll move to finite element analysis, and from the results there, we'll go to the Optic Studio STAR module to load those, that finite element results and then see the impact on optical performance. We'll discuss this workflow in detail using high power laser system as an example. So high power laser systems can, uh, among other things, be used to cut, weld, and etch metal and other materials. And they have a widespread application in manufacturing processes. The laser beam and the optical performance of these systems can be well modeled using Optic Studio, where they can be designed and ultimately optimized. Um, and subsequently, the mechanical housing can be effectively designed in CAD platforms with the help of Optics Builder. However, high power laser systems have interesting set of problem cases where they actually have that high power, which creates effects that cannot be accounted for by these products alone. I mean, during use, the laser causes the whole system to heat up, which changes how it performs and how well it cuts. And, and obviously, engineering teams want to account for this temperature change. But during the development process, lab testing can be almost impossible to do as the intense temperatures can lead to damage and even melting of the thermal probes. So oftentimes, this forces design teams to guess about the hotspots in their system so that they can change the design accordingly. Only a combination of ZMAX tools integrated with other software can enable products to understand these effects and use this information to create better products faster. Now, the first step in the process is creating the optical system. Optic Studio has proven accuracy in modeling a wider range of optical designs, including laser system, and has several tools and analyses to create the optical design. After the optical engineer works and gets their initial optical design, they can then perform optimization to get the best system performance. In this case, 
the requirement will be for a tightly focused laser spot on the material being cut. The size of the spot will affect the level of cutting precision possible, as well as potential cutting speed and depth. Now, how the optics and mechanics interact is a crucial piece in the performance of the final product. And Optics Builder is an add-in for SolidWorks and Creo, which enables optical and mechanical engineers to share design information back and forth between CAD and Optic Studio. When the design information is loaded into CAD, Optics Builder will create parts in an assembly using the information directly from the Optic Studio design. So the mechanical engineer can get started designing the mechanical parts more quickly and also perform ray tracing to look for things like beam clipping or contamination. Once they're done working on the mechanical parts, they can then export the full optomechanical system back to Optic Studio, which I'll talk about next. So now we're back in Optic Studio, this time in non-sequential mode. And from Optics Builder, we can load the full optomechanical system. That's the optical components and mechanical components, as you can see in the image. The reason why we want all the components and non-sequential ray tracing is that so that we can calculate the amount of flux on the surfaces inside of the model, as well as the amount of flux absorbed by each part. This requires a little bit of a setup where we enable detector setting for all of the components and then add a volume detector around the components as well. All that detector data can then be fed into the FEA program. Now it's here where I utilize the Optic Studio API to automate the ray tracing and data export from the Optic Studio file. From here, I created files that could be loaded directly into the FEA program in the next stage. Now in finite element analysis, we want to simulate the effects of the structural and thermal loads that come from the environment. And it's here where we want to combine the information from the optical components and the mechanical components into the FEA so that we have an accurate simulation. This is a very simplified view. We actually have a lot more information that we're working with. Since we've been using ZMAX tools the entire way, we've actually been able to carry along a lot of that information, including the materials, the component shapes and size, the position from the initial optical design all the way to the CAD, back to non-sequential and now in the side of FEA. In addition, we also have the flux information that we calculated in non-sequential mode, as well as the uh, materials of the, of the lenses and the mechanical components from CAD. This provides a simulation engineer with all of the information that they need in order to do their job and get the results needed to make, help the team to make decisions. I wanna emphasize well, that while I've shown ANSYS UI here in the image, the type of workflow that we're describing here can be utilized with any finite element analysis package. After the finite element analysis is done and the results are exported, we move on to the Optic Studio Star module, which is the newest addition from ZMAX. This tool enables direct import of the FE results from simulations into Optic Studio in order to assess the optical performance due to structural and thermal changes. So instead of guessing where the hotspots are and how they affect the performance, we can instead perform a simulation and see how our system is going to perform afterwards. We have tools designed to help align the FEA datasets to the optical surfaces. And we also have tools to help users understand how good the quality of fit is from that numeric data. They can see hotspots in the system and use the same analyses that they use to assess performance today to see the overall change. From the optimized system in step one, we can see the change after 10 seconds of laser operation in the spot size. This is a big advantage because it's no longer difficult to get the information from FEA and see how it changes the performance of the system. We've made it easy for users to share this information, load it into Optic Studio using the STAR module, click OK, and do the numeric fitting for the user. So with one simple update, the user can see the overall change in performance. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at the uh, demo here inside of Optic Studio using the STAR module. I have the spot size diagram, as well as the through focus spot diagram and the RMS versus focus. I'm now going to use a star module. This is the load FEA data window. And here we're, here I've loaded the FEA data sets and I've assigned them to the correct surfaces in the optical design using the name from the FEA data set. And the load FEA data tool also has this graphical area. So not only am I matching the names, I'm also able to see that the FEA data set is aligning correctly with the optical surface. After clicking OK, we can see the change in performance. We no longer have a very tight spot size, and we see that in the through focus spot diagram and the RMS versus focus. 
With the fit assessment, we can see the overall quality of along the surface. What we're doing here is showing quality of fit is over the particular surface. We look at the fitted data minus the input data. So a perfect fit would be zero. Utilizing the controls, the user can easily change the fit settings in order to see the change in performance and get the fit error that they need. The big advantage of this Optic Studio STAR module is that it, you can utilize the same sequential analyses and tools that you use today in order to design your system. And so you can immediately see the change in performance. The Optic Studio STAR module features a number of automation steps so that as soon as you click the OK button, we load the FEA data set, calculate rigid body motions, perform the numeric fit, and apply the changes to the optical system automatically, which means you can immediately see the change in performance of the system due to structural deformations and temperature changes. The STAR module also offers the ability to delineate the change in performance due to the different categories of FEA results. So here I have the original design with, with these analyses we saw earlier, and I've also added the surface sag window. Now the surface sag is looking at the, the fold mirror. In ideal conditions, the fold mirror is flat. In this image, we can see I've only added the structural data and we can see the change in performance. We can see that the fold mirror is no longer flat. In the top right image, I turned off the structural effects and now I'm only looking at the change in performance due to the thermal data. And in the bottom right, I have both the structural and thermal data, data sets turned on and I can see the full change in the performance. This lets users not only see how their system is changing, but where the largest change in, in error is contributing to. ZMAX tools enable a collaborative workflow for design and analysis of your optical system, taking into account complex factors such as thermal changes and structural pressures on, on the performance. With the addition of the Optic Studio STAR module, ZMAX is integrated even more closely into product development cycles. We're enabling teams to, to know how their products will perform in realistic conditions before they build them. With the ZMAX tools, we're providing insight into complex effects to drive design cycles and create better products. Starting from Optic Studio, we can create the initial optical design and optimize it. Moving into CAD with Optics Builder, we can take that, initial, that optical design, bring it in and add the CAD parts, and then perform ray tracing to see if there's any beam clipping. Once we have the full optical mechanical system, we can move back to Optic Studio in, in non-sequential mode and calculate absorbed and incident flux in the system. Take the calculated flux and use that as an input along with the compo CAD components and the optical design and do a finite elements analysis. Again, using either using any FEA package such as ANSYS, NASTRAN, or Abacus. From there, we can export the FEA data and use a star Optic Studio STAR module and calculate the change in performance of the optical design. We can also use the API from Optic Studio and the Optic Studio STAR module to automate and put together different time steps. In this case, we can see how the change in the wavefront occurs as the laser heats up. And we can also look at how that may affect the change in sag due to the laser. The workflow enabled by Optic Studio, Optics Builder, and the Optic Studio STAR, mo and STAR module as well as the integration with other tools such as FEA means customers can perform the design evaluation that either wasn't previously possible or might've been prohibitively expensive in terms of time and effort. Um, they can do analysis that would have taken weeks that can be now done in days and better products can be created in less time. So in summary, this workflow is an illustration of what can be achieved using ZMAX software tools. It's not meant to be all-inclusive or a demonstration of the only way these, these tools can work together. The point is that the combination of these products enables companies to do more than they could be before, they can do it faster, and they can use all the understanding at every stage to make products better. Thank you for your time and attention. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me and I'd be happy to answer them. Thank you and have a nice day.